What is up guys, Mad J Man here and welcome to another video and in this video I'll be showcasing a build of the Subaru Impreza WRX STI sedan version. Now personally, I actually think this car is heavily slept on. I've played so many playlists in Need for Speed Unbound and I can probably count on one hand the amount of times that I've actually seen this car. Now the build I'm about to show you in this video in my opinion is an absolute demon because it's stupidly quick, it handles well and it can compete with the meta. One of the best things about this build is the price. At just over $180,000 for the total of the car and the upgrades, you're going to be getting one of the best non-meta cars in the A plus class and at that price point I think it's definitely worth trying out for yourself. Now moving on to the main part of the video, the build details. So for the induction you're going to go super, the ECU you want to go pro, the fuel system you want to go super, the exhaust you want to go pro, the force induction is going to be a super root supercharger, suspension is going to be the regular elite suspension, the tyres are going to be elite drift tyres, you're going to go for a super clutch, a 6 speed gearbox and the differential is going to be elite. Now if that was a bit fast for you, don't worry because I have included a graphic on the side of the video so that you can pause the video anytime you want. Now I have also included a screenshot of the handling, just bear in mind that if you don't like the 15% drift you can have it down to 5%. The reason I have mine at 15% is because I like my cars to slide a little bit but obviously if you don't like them to slide as much then you can put it down but I think you can only go as low as 5% before it starts to go into S so that's just something to keep in mind. Now you will see some gameplay of me racing with this Subaru in the background and you can see the cars that I'm coming up against all meta cars and I'm beating them quite comfortably. Now I will admit that this won't always be the case especially on the tracks that have longer stretches of road because the car has a relatively low top speed for the A plus class has a top speed of 172 miles an hour which for the A plus class is quite low actually where the top speeds range from 180 to 190 some even go above 190 some even go above 200 so to have a top speed of only 172 it is relatively low and that is one of the weaknesses of this car. That doesn't mean that it's a bad car however because this car does have several strengths for example the acceleration is superb with a 0 60 of just 3 seconds and you can really feel it when you're driving the car. This car also has a stupidly good launch and if you couple that with a superb acceleration you're going to be out of the block so quick at the start of every single race. I will say that this car has amazing handling and this makes it so easy and so much fun to drive like it's honestly my favorite a plus car in my collection i think one of the best things about the way the car handles is how it takes on corners now it doesn't understay it doesn't overstay it slides just the right amount it doesn't slow down much when you're cornering it just handles corners so so well honestly one of the best cars i've tried at cornering now one of the most surprising things I found about this car is how quickly it gaps its opponents. This race in the background you'll see the guy in second place, he was quite close to me for the majority of this lap but after after this, this corner coming up I just gapped him, I just kept on gaining and gaining and gaining. I, I was honestly so surprised, I was looking at it, I was like there's no way these guys are in Ferraris and Lamborghinis and I'm just gapping them so so easily. Like they were just struggling to keep up with me and I think by the end of the race I ended up being second place by about 7 seconds and last place ended up leaving. So I mean what does that say about this car? It's crazy. Now as mentioned earlier this car is great but it will excel on some tracks and it will be inferior on others. I'm going to tell you some of the top tracks that you should be using this car on. So starting off we've got shopping spree. Now we just saw the track shopping spree in the previous race and that is one of the tracks where this car really does excel. It's a really short track. The straights are not that long where the top speed would become an issue. So yeah this is a really strong track. Next up we have City Limits, now this is another short city track, it does have a relatively long straight at the back but this 
track is pretty short on this car again excelled in this track very very well and last but by no means least we have track day special now this track is one of the actual race tracks on the map and this car is so good for this track it takes the corners really well on this track and the long back stretch it performs it really well and it again the top speed isn't an issue because the straight is not long enough for you to reach past that top speed anyway now you'll notice something about these tracks and that is that they are all short circuit tracks now that doesn't mean that the only tracks this car is going to have short circuit tracks absolutely not but this kind of track are the tracks where this car absolutely excels it shows off its strengths really well and it really hides its weaknesses with its lack of long straights now moving on to the rating of this build performance i'll give it an 8.7 i do think it performs really well it's really quick off the line it just has stupidly good acceleration it corners really well i think 8.7 is a very fair score competitiveness i'll give it a 7.9 i think it competes with the meta really well on some tracks but on others obviously it will get outshined i think 7.9 is a fair score handling 8.2 again the weight corners is just crazy good and it just in general just handles really well i think 8.2 is a very fair score and looks 8.9 i don't think you can go wrong with the subaru no matter what you do to it this car just looks amazing anyway so i think 8.9 is a very very good score and overall i give it an 8.4 so that just about wraps it up for my showcase of this a plus subaru impreza wrx sti build if you do decide to try it out which i think you should because it's such a low price point do let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time